what's up guys welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be another video on the tier list and today we're going to be ranking every Premier League side's away shirt for the 1920 season which will start in two weeks um, as I'm recording this so I did one on the home shirts and obviously like I said we're going to do one on the away shirts today and let's get straight into it so starting off with Arsenal my team and this away shirt is absolutely I think it's brilliant. Um, it's got the you know, stripes down the sleeves. Maddie, that's it's got kind of that old pattern on the shirt. Um, it's got its own retro feel to it from the Bruce Banana shirt from the 90s. And I think, personally, I'm no biased in this whatsoever. I'm putting it in God. Don't even tell me I'm being biased because I'm not. Um, now, this is going to be okay. I know this isn't Newcastle's actual way shirt. This tier that I'm doing is um, obviously not updated itself. Uh, but this isn't actually Newcastle's way shirt. Uh, I actually know the actual way shirt. It's kind of like a dark, I think it's kind of like a darkish thing. Oh, if I can put a picture of it on screen, I will. And their, their, their way shirt is pretty good. The actual one. Um, so I'm going to put it in good. Crystal Palace. Uh, I actually like this one. It's. Um, I think it's a lot better than the one they had last year. Black, um, obviously main part of the shirt with red and blue, kind of like weird lines down the middle, but I think it works quite well. The sponsor is in two, doesn't stand out quite often. It goes, it goes kind of well with the shirt, so I'm going to put it in uh, good. I like that. Bournemouth's pretty good shirt. I like it. It's got the white and kind of like fading patterns around the badge and the red um, bits on the uh, sleeves as well sponsor like it uh, goes quite well as well so I'm gonna put it in good again Aston Villa not bad actually not a bad shirt at all they could have done a bit more about it it's mainly just plain white so for that reason I am gonna put an average there um, Brighton I'm I don't know this shirt is, is decent again like the Villa one they probably could have done a bit more it's mainly just like a black plain shirt so, again, like Villa, I'm going to put in average. Chelsea, again, it's another white shirt. There seems to be quite a lot of white away shirts this season. And it's kind of got like the red and blue trimmings on the sleeves and collar as well. Sponsor goes quite well with it, so I'm going to put it in good. Uh, Norwich, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a really big fan of the Norwich one. It's got like weird too many colours and it's too, many, too much going on for me, so I'm going to put it in bad. I don't think it's awful at all. But, um, yeah, so, uh, Leicester, now, I'm also going to put this in the bad section. Personally, I think the pink doesn't really go well with, you know, the sponsor. And, um, it looks just basically just like an Adidas top, really, if you just slap a badge and sponsor on it. It's pretty much what you got. And, um, I really like, the, interesting, I really like the Germany one that's got, obviously, that same pattern. However, I don't think it really works with pink, personally, so I'm going to put it in, am I going to put it in bad or average? I don't know, I'm going to put it in, I'll put it in bad for now. Ma uh, Man City, decent um, shirt, black, uh, yellow, with the um, sponsor, I think it's red on the Puma logo. I'm going to put in average. Manchester United, I think, this is a weird one, it's a weird colour, it's kind of like brownish, darkish colour, with black, um, similar to Arsenal actually, black stripes on the sleeves, uh, black trimmings on um as well, so I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in good. I feel like it's decent, it's different. I like that. Liverpool shirts, I'm a big fan of this away shirt. I think it's kind of similar to Villa's one there in the 1819 season. Villa's home shirt, kind of got that stripe, like darkish pattern fading in. So I, I really like that. Sponsor goes well, good colors. I'm gonna put that in great. Now, Southampton's, I'm not a big fan of this. It's you know, their home shirt's bad, but this shirt's be better than their. Home shirt, but it's still not great. I just don't see uh, if they got rid of that pattern and the sponsor wasn't too like the sponsor stands out too much. It's just not really good. I'm gonna put it in bad. Spurs, obviously, um, not bad. It's a bit boring. Let's be honest. They could have done more with it. So I for that reason I'm gonna put it in average. No, it's just it's just just a plain you know navy blue shirt really. Um, West Ham, another white one. Very similar to, you know, the likes of um, Chelsea, Bournemouth and Liverpool. 
I really like this one. I think it's a lot better than their home shirt. Nice cl cl clout and boot trimmings. Um, sponsor goes quite well. I like it. I'm going to put it in good. Now, Wolves. Decent shirt. I do like a black and orange shirt. I think the two colours go quite well together on a football shirt, and they've done that well. Sponsor. I mean, it's quite big on the shirt, but it doesn't stand out too often. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of that, so I'm going to put it in there. Great, actually. I'm a big fan of it. And finally, to finish it off, we're going to go burn these. Interesting. I would say that they've got different shades of blue from light to dark blue. Uh, sponsor. The sponsor kind of takes it down a lot. If they had a better sponsor, probably would have been uh, good, actually. But I think the sponsor takes it down. Oh, it's between bad and average, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to put it in bad. It's not the best shirt. So, there you go. There's my uh, tier list, guys. Obviously, no bias at all. Uh, included. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.